Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to tone the extensions from a golden blonde to a whitish using these products, which I will mention my name in the video. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be starting with. I just want to show you guys how thick they came before I even unpackaged them, kind of. Uh, I took them out of the box already, but I haven't taken off these little plastic things yet. So as you can see, they're very, very thick very soft. These are about two packs of what I used to use. That's like how thick it is. This is a 160 grams, 18 inches, and the color is 613A. So these are by VP Fashion. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I transform them. So this is the start and Join me on my hair journey. <laughs> this color. So we're going to go from a yellowy to more of a nice white silver. Let me see. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do, those are curing the ends there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have two mixing bowls. And I'm going to mix some T18 and some T14. I'm going to mix them in a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning the exact same of each, exact same amount of each. So, I'm going to do like a quarter of T18, then a quarter of T14. So that it's about halfway up. And I'm going to add it to bowl. Now, it's a 2 to 1 ratio for the toner to developer. So, you're going to need a full thing of this to half of that. So, one full thing. And this is an ounce, by the way. This cup, it came with bleach. So, it was an exact ounce, I believe. So now we're going to mix it. It has a little bit of silver in it and it's not going to bother it. Um, I did add previously a few drops of the 050. So I had used this on the 050 so it's going to mix a little bit of that in but it's not going to make that much of a difference. So there's what it looks like. It's kind of like conditioner. It's a little bit bubbly for um, it's still a little bit lighter than my last batch. So I'm going to add just a drop of the 050 Cooling Violet Toner to it. The way I do just drops is I take the end of my little mixing brush, stick it in here, and then shake off the drops in here. And that gives me a nice little amount so I can go little by little and not over darken it. Put the cap on that. brush these out before I start. Just make sure there's no tangles or anything. And this is a 30 piece one, like I think I said. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just fold it like that and do it in a couple of sides. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it at the top all the way down to almost the ends. sure to leave enough for the other side. Like I said, almost to the ends. We'll leave a little bit of the tips undone so that the violet will absorb better. But I believe I start to do that. Okay. The other side. Continuing with this, applying it to that. I 
see a little bit of the tone taking place. Make sure to get the like, underside of clips so that we don't have blonde chunks. I'm not wearing gloves because uh, this toner doesn't really stain your hands. I'm sure it's not great to absorb the chemicals, but it's not going to hurt for real quickly. Okay, so once we've got most of it applied, I'm going to take my brush here and brush it out starting from the bottom so that I don't rip or pull the hair, anything, I want to untangle it little by little. Brush it through so we get a nice even color and there's no spots left because sometimes uh, the hair sticks together and you'll get like a dry spot. Okay. So, take any little extra, just do a little extra coat. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to make sure this is nice and saturated too, by the way. Um, the box says to do it on towel-dried hair, but I actually found it works a lot better on dry. Well, when it comes to the extensions part. So, next part I'm going to do is the cooling violet, and I'm going to do one teaspoon of developer. to half a spoon of uh, 050 cooling violet. And this is going to be a strong thing because we're going for a dark silver on the tips. I've uh, done a second coat on these over here, that's why they're setting over here, to make it even darker. So that's uh, something you will be need to be aware of. That it is probably going to take a second coat on the darkened part. Go ahead and mix up this and apply it to the bottom to about two to three inches up. Now as you go, it helps a lot if you continue to coat it. So I'm going to like mix up a little bit more of the 14, uh, the T14 and the T18 after I finish recording this and just continue to coat this and then continue to coat the end with the violet as well because it just happens to work better if you coat it as you go. It provides more dye, I guess. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to show you the results after we're done. So just to be clear, from the, T8, or the T14 and the T18 on the first half to the bottom part being the zero five zero. So let's uh, go ahead and see. Let these set. Um, the amount of time you let them set really depends on the color. So you're really gonna have to just sit there and watch and like watch it turn, so that you know when to wash it out because it's gonna be different depending on the tone of the hair. Um, so yeah, this is the first step. I'm gonna have to do the second uh, part again. Like I said, because as you can see, I'm going for a much darker color. So let's uh, continue on. I should mention that if you have any brassy tones, a simple wash with a purple shampoo and a purple conditioner will tone it right up. Um, these are some of the result photos, and if you want to see me styling them, please stay tuned for part two.